somebody has to make <laughs> Beat some skin. Great team leader, great team builder, Michael Sharp. Man, this one is coming from a tough place, but a, but a great place this morning when you reflect on all that he's done. It's tough for his family, his friends, his colleagues. Um, we saw the messages from the viewers as well, so we know this one's tough for you. Yesterday, we lost one of our foundation members here at the RG Aglina Communications Group and is zooming in are a few of the friends and mentees whose lives have been touched by the outstanding shop talk, I like to call him, Michael Sharp, veteran journalist. Thank you for joining us this morning. We have Kayon Vaz, um, television producer, Unique Francis, former TVJ, but also a television producer, content creator, Abigail Smythe, JNN presenter, Tony Stark, I call her, and Patrick Anderson. Veteran journalist. So, you know, things have, I haven't seen Patrick since about 2015. I'm joking, not that long. But it's great to see you, Patrick. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Kayon, I'm going to start with you because Michael is actually how I met you. Um, we were doing coverage here, and he said, and I was producing, and he said, I'm going to send one of my, my young talent them for come work with you. It was the election for me. So tell me about how you met Michael Sharp. I met Michael, he was a lecturer. I was a student at Northern Caribbean University. Mm -hmm. And at the time, my mom said to me, you know, why not ask Mr. Sharp if he could, you know, see if he could, if he could get you into RJR. I was like, mom, I'm not want to do that. I mean, he's my teacher. So um, I followed her uh, advice to wise counsel, but I didn't want to just ask, you know, if there were any vacancies at RJR. I, I did a, a proposal, a treatment and a budget for a show concept that I had. And I, I presented it to him and I said, um, you know, I have a show concept. And he looked at me and he said, Kian, do you want a show or do you want a career in media? And I said, I would like a career in media. He said, excellent choice. Now show up tomorrow morning at the conference center. Cause at the time it was the West Kingston commissioning, um, commissioners inquiry. Inquiry. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I showed up and he said, yes, Vaz, that's what I like about you. People must be on time for production. Every interaction that he had with, with Michael, he always dropped gems. He's the one who introduced me to editing. Mm -hmm. And um, I said to him, you know, I don't really know how to edit. And he said, Kian, you can never leave an organization the same way you came in or yes. entered. You yes. must grow. And if you're not growing, that means you have to think about your actual choices. Mm -hmm. There was a funny moment as well. Um, he called me and he said, Kian, what is tomorrow? I said, tomorrow is a holiday, Mr. Sharp. And he said, not for you, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Media, media don't sleep, Kian. No holidays media, for you. Holidays don't God. exist where they're in, in yes. media. <laughs> Unique. That's the kind of, um, <laughs> that's yeah. Michael's style. Um, firm, professional, but, 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 but always putting a fun edge on it. Talk to me about, about your experience with Michael. Absolutely. I started actually, my resume ended up at RGR and into the hands of Michael Sharp. And my sister got a phone call to say that Sharp is calling regarding an internship. And I said, who would be Michael Sharp? And when I called back to Delia, he was like, oh, well, you don't want to work. You're not looking at work. Cause you don't have your phone in hand. I'm looking out for a call whenever work might call. <laughs> and that was just my call for you. You know, it's work, but it's also a time to relax and be comfortable. And he was that type of person Mm -hmm. That made you feel like you knew him years ago. You met him years ago. He's um, a cousin, a long-time cousin, a long-time friend that made you feel so comfortable, but yet capable to do whatever task came your way. And so I really respected that about my father. Yeah. Patrick, um, we're a hard worker, but as we can see from the photos, somebody that just 
enjoyed life and enjoyed being around media and, and his media colleagues 40 plus years. I mean, you'd have worked so many, so many of those years with Michael. Yes, um, because I, I, I started out at uh, JBC, as you know, back in, 19, back in 1983, and Michael came in. Uh, about six or seven months after that. Mm -hmm. um, that is how I met Michael. Michael came in. Michael was very gung ho, yes. um, a, a go getter. Um, and then immediately after he came, there was the Grenada invasion. And he was sent to cover it, established himself. He did a wonderful job of covering the Grenada invasion and, mm -hmm. and came back. and. You know, there are some folks, to be honest, when he just came, didn't take Michael too seriously because he was like, you know, this, this hot shot. And so this guy just come on acting like that. Mm -hmm. But he did his work, earned everybody's trust and respect, and there was no turning back for Michael. Um, like, like Unique and... and, and um, Kayon. Kayon said, you know, Michael always had you relaxed. Um, mm -hmm. If you're on Michael and you're not laughing, so something is wrong. But we are always, most of my discussions with Michael, 99.9% .9 of those discussions is about the work. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, something happens. I mean, I was mainly in sports and he would say, I saw that event yesterday in a pantry and this could have been done or you should have done that. And so we are always um, looking at how things could be done, what was done properly. And his favorite topic, as um, Ken and Unique will tell you, he's always chasing the next equipment. He always yes. wants to be ahead of the game, yeah. uh, wants to be at the cutting edge, all, all to get the best possible product out. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's the Michael I know. And, and I, if I could say also, um, he really turned the nation upside down with Inside Gordon House. That was must listen to radio it was on radio at the time but at rgr you left jbc and, and went to rgr i also did that and that program was a jamaican staple it's almost like dulcimino yes 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 <laughs> Yeah, and unique would know about Dulcimina. Dulcimina. Um, <laughs> but, but I would. <laughs> I want to bring it. I want to bring in Abigail. Yes, I want to bring in Abigail, who doesn't know Dulcimina either, <laughs> by the way. But, 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 but one of the things people would have seen that's very common in the thread is Michael's um, natural ability to, ho to discover talent, hone talent, encourage talent. And Abigail, you're, you're one of those people. Talk to me about Michael. Okay, so I, um, I know, I know. Just, just breathe, my darling. Breathe. Met him at NCU. I was a student, and I remember the first time seeing him on campus. I was so starstruck. So I ran to him and said, "Hi, Mr. Sharp. I always watch you on TV. You look smaller in person." And he said, "Yeah, it's tell live vision. Tell me that I promise I'm a bigger." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he taught me three courses, and those courses were three hours long. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed those classes. I was at NCU like two to three years before I started classes with him. And it wasn't until I was doing classes with him that I found love for media. Mm -hmm. And I felt the sense of purpose that this is what I wanted to do. We had an assignment, and I was a reporter in the assignment. And he heard my voice and he said, Miss Smythe, you have a nice voice. Why are you hiding it? Don't hide your voice. And the general election came in 2016 and he asked for volunteers and I volunteered to report in my constituency. And that was that. The, 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 rest, the rest is history, basically. Yeah. I've been under his wings since. And then I got an internship at... JNN for he offered me an internship there for six weeks, which turned into another six weeks, which turned into two beautiful years yeah. working with him. Yeah. Um, before we all go, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna go right around because we have maybe about a minute. Let me let me stay with you, Abby, because we're seeing pictures there, Michael. Um, even when you were doing your own personal um, campaigns for your health yeah. and your heart issues, that was Michael though, just beyond the work. Yeah. He was 
very supportive. Yeah. He was more than a friend. He was more than a boss and a manager and a mentor. He was, he was just a light, you know, and that light is gone. It's hearing you, Abby. It's hearing you. It's hearing you. Um, Patrick, I'm coming to you next. Because one of the things you said is when Michael started 40 years ago, he was very gung-ho. And I'll tell you, Michael was still gung-ho down to the last minute. Your final words on Michael Sharp. Um, based on that, and, and having seen that for about 38 years, having seen it close up every day, the discussions we had, um, and listening to, to Abigail, Unique, and Ken, um, it was also part, it, it formed part of our discussions. We always discussed staff development. Mm -hmm. You know, how can we best, and Ken can tell you this, how can we, well, where should the staff fit? Um, speaking with the staff and saying this, you know, you should be doing this. Don't don't limit yourself. Don't pigeonhole yourself. So we're also talking about staff development. It is his passion and drive for media that nobody can ever question or doubt. And to the last, his drive and passion mm -hmm. um, and his, his his love for equipment and technology yeah. uh, is, 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 is what I will remember him for. And of course, Michael is always always making you laugh yes always making you laugh yes unique for it, yeah um yeah so so michael made himself available he extended himself to anybody who needed him in many different ways um he gave you an opportunity and he saw potential as small as a mustard seed Mm -hmm. And for that, you have to just respect Michael for because a lot of persons aren't extending themselves the way he did. Yes. And when you get an opportunity to become a better version of yourself and when somebody has such passion and belief in you, to the point where you see you definitely start believing yourself, no doubt, um, leading with excellence and just doing the right thing because he's there as a guy mm -hmm. and he never let up. And I think... Um, we're gonna miss him. We're gonna miss somebody like that who was able to usher in the new generation without any any hesitation. Um, and I'm truly thankful to have worked with him. Kayan, you know, your producer say you have 10 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Let me wrap this up. Um, Michael was a giver. Uh, he gave uh, in terms of information, he didn't hold back. You know, you have some persons who don't want to share because they're afraid that you may excel or go further. But he was a giver. And I live with a hope daily because of my faith. I will see him resurrection morning. We will all see our loved ones on that great day. All right. Thank you so much, um, ladies. And, and I'll tell you, and as I said to Abigail, um, Michael continues to live on in all of you. You are his children. Um, you don't know, but Patrick would know, I know, some of the senior ones, he would talk about you all the time. When you guys <laughs> were doing coverage, he would message and say, you're watching, you see my kids them? Um, yep. You see, look at, you see Kayan, you see? And him coming in and say, Dale, you see, you see how Kayan produced that? He was so <laughs> proud. Carrie Ann Lee, I'm watching the tweets, Dadrian, he was so proud of all of you. And I think the very best thing that we can all do is just continue to, to just blossom in the greatness that Michael saw in all of us. Thank you so much, guys, for speaking with us. Kian Vaz, um, television producer, Unique Francis, um, television producer, content creator, Abigail Smythe, former JNN presenter and superhero, Patrick Anderson. Patrick, don't be a yes. stranger, man. Veteran journalist. <laughs> nice to see all of you. Lauren phone me. I'm only a technology away. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Bless right. you. Coming up next, you. balancing life and career. We're going to be talking to Kim Nain. We'll be right back. Say bye, Mr. Sharp. Can you say bye, Mr. Sharp? You say just say bye. Don't say bye, Mr. Sharp. All right. Sharp. Say bye. Bye.